Hi friends. Now friends, I need you to see this image very carefully. In this mansion tour, in this image, and house has been shown. In Mile in West Vancouver, that house in the uh, is expensive, with located city, in good community, and ocean views, and has various uh, represented by Mary and associates. House. Now, this impressive you are planning to buy bedrooms, this house. Eight bathrooms. And over 9,000 square feet of space high, on a 19,000 square foot. But you have decided that since this house has various facilities, so now you have decided that you will give your full efforts to just buy. That's nice you thing. Enter through the you are trying gate, your best, this and at the welcomes you with a herring uh, pattern. A couple of a uh, couple of years, you successfully got the house. We begin now, this. This house is very solid valuable. Door. Very, uh, very close to your heart as you have put Our lots on and effort is a conveniently placed mud room buying this built-in closet. Now, see to this the right is the powder room. Very between luck. Boom! It's all destroyed now, and now your all hard-earned paid money of uh, that you have collected in couple of years is now just gone. Insurance company uh, company has also raised the hand. Now we can't do anything, and that's why the house is destroyed. Now I'll move to example number second. In example number second, you can see a car. This car is luxurious, has various features, comes with the EMI options and there are lots of things uh, with the car. Now you have decided to buy this car uh, as uh, everyone has a couple of dreams. So you, this car is your dream and you have decided to buy this car. Now see this image very carefully. Boom! It just all gone. Now this car car is no more, and uh, after all, the the money, the hard earned money you have collected in couple of years is just now gone, and it's just none. Insurance company has also raised the hand. So uh, so you are just on alone, left with your destroyed car. Now we'll move on to example number. This car, uh, this picture has various people. Those people could be be your family mates, your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, and may, and many of them. Now, now I need you to see this image very clearly. As you can see, there are lots of people and they value a lot. So see this image very carefully. It's all gone. Now there are no more. And they are just, uh, and they are just no more. So all, uh, all of the person that you loved, they loved you, are no more. If we see the three examples that we have recently discussed, so I am, I am, I want you to see, uh, to just feel like what the, what the country of Ukraine can people are feeling now. Now they are, they are, they are, they are also invested a lot. A lot of their efforts, lot of their money to buy houses, properties, properties, vehicles, families. So they are just uh, just booming in uh, booming in nowadays. As you can see, Russia has recently declared war against Ukraine. So things are going real tough. Hi friends. Today, I welcome you to Entrepreneur's Ring of Modern Day Empire. Here, my overall attempt is to give you business stuff. And you might, if the first question that arises into your mind that this, this channel used to make business related. So why, uh, why this channel is giving you the video related to the box? So look guys, war, uh, war plays a major role uh, or impacts greatly to your life, to uh, anybody's life and for uh, business too. So that's why I have decided to make one video. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing about what can be the future impact of the conflicts that are going between Russia and Ukraine. So keep it uh, the last of the video. And if you didn't like this video, so just give us a like, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, so like to this uh, Page, share to this uh, video to your friends and family and comment in comment box for any suggestions so we'll get to the video but, but before getting to the topic we need to understand that what is uh, we, we need to look back in 
history now guys if you see uh, if you see a uh, couple of uh, years ago the you uh, the russia or uh, russia and ukraine's relations were very good they both contribute to each other and all were going very well but then but then you ukraine started uh, you get started to build uh, uh, ukraine started to build connections with european countries which russia didn't like and then ukraine decided that they will join nato community that is not atlantic treaty organizations that uh, that uh, russia didn't like that. so that's why russia, russia declared luhansk and zelensky that were the part of ukraine as an independent country and that's why russia she has sent their forces so that they could capture the area and declare them free you which ukraine didn't like so so you uh, so the both parties were ready to take them now basically if you see if you see the condition of ukraine so ukraine is a very small country as compared to the russia they have there are more man folks more uh, uh, more uh, there are less equipments as compared to russia more overall uh, overall russia has advanced equipment uh, heavy man folks as compared to ukraine so both the parties start so russia is starting invading ukraine land and we get usually a latest update that what's going on what's not now uh, what's happening how many people are died and how many people are surviving but before getting to the discussion we need to discuss couple of basic things now basically involve belligerents are the the states which involves in the war non belligerents are the states which not involved in the war if we talk about if you talk about people so combatants are the people which involved in the war non combatants are the people which do not take part in the war now there is also one category known as neutrals uh, they uh, say that we will not involve in any of this now how the war impact uh, impact any country in any forms like diplomatic connections got disturbed treaties also get uh, disturbed and intention does matter here like if uh, if russia had decided that they will declare these two two places of uh, luhansk and donetsk independent so you, the question might arise into your mind right, that why they are further invading ukraine so that could be a good question and we will discuss here now basically uh, basically we need to uh, we will go to first thing that any why war is important and why the rulers decided to take the war because guys this is not not first war which we are observing we have observed many wars like world war 1 like world war 2 and inter country war country uh, wars also going on i will uh, list also example that the uh, taliban group has taken over afghanistan so that is one of the example of the war so we will discuss couple of things related to the profit and loss uh, which uh, which happens in the war so first thing we will see the profit profit number 1 is the powers if any any ruler is seeing that i can acquire more powers by invading or capturing other country so they will definitely do for it because powers uh, if you are if you are at one level and you want other uh, if you want some higher level or higher power so anybody would definitely go for it next reason is resources the more is the more valuable resources you are high the more important you become like if any country is a major supply of major supply of any specific product and that product is only manufactured in their country only so they can decide the rate at any cost they could sell and if if anybody wants option on negotiation so they could uh, they are just uh, they could not do so because the it is extremely valuable and uh, clients needed it so clients will pay any price for that product so that resources also becomes valuable now guys third point comes with the safety is any ruler is seeing that that uh, my empire is in danger 
and I need to protect that empire. So they just go on war so that protect. If you see the the mindset of Vladimir Putin, so there was uh, so he was somehow afraid that in future maybe just maybe the Ukraine could Ukraine could help European countries and maybe Ukraine uh, U- uh, European countries may try to invade in Russia. So this is one of the point. Now fourth point comes with the expansion. Like guys, if uh, uh, expansion means here related to the here I am counting diplomatic connections, expansion, expansions of power, respect. Because after all, after all, after all, if the war is over and any one party who wins, so definitely third uh, third part uh, the parties who are not involved will definitely they think that the winning party is superior. Now we'll focus on couple of losses that have been that are, that are happens due to war. First point is resources. If you are hunting for the resources, then it is a definite thing that you need to invest a heavy resources there. Because if you'll see here, here, uh, yeah, uh, if you'll see here, the um, Russia has to Russia has to invest lot of weaponry equipments in order so that their forces could win the battle and at the same as you can has to invest invest a lots of resources to win them like uh, european countries are provided weapon equipment food supplies to ukrainian people so they may could continue the battle now next point comes with the connection now basically guys if the war is going on or the war war has just happened so it plays a major impact role in the connections like basically just take an example afghanistan who has been taken by taliban now you all know that how uh, this all things now basically there are five countries just an example if there are five countries and one country is fighting to another country and if two countries are fighting to each other in order to just seeing their profit now now if they win the war uh, win the war so there might be chances that other people other countries will doubt on them like this could be mindset that he has embedded other country so that he could win the war so there might be a possibility in future they could also invade me also like here here we have uh, we have separate predictions going on all over the net that uh, next target could be finland Taiwan is also disturbed here because uh, because uh, that country is seeing fear of China, uh, fear of that China may attack on them. So all these type connections also get disturbed. Now third point is to trade laws. Now trade laws is very important because as you can see the conditions of Ukraine and European countries. that you european countries are putting lots of sanctions on the favor of ukraine support to the russia so that they may could in uh, stop invasion into the ukraine and overall all russia's impulse where uh, russia's response is also quite similar like they have recently decided to take or uh, take out all the maps uh, from the uh, take out all the flags from the rocket of russia and they were also decided that they will not do the de- uh, further deals with the european country so both the parties will face loss in uh, now or in future now when major uh, points come to that then that how common man common man just faces this type of losses or what uh, how this losses impact in common man life talking to the common man perspective so the war, uh, the decision of war is not in the hands of common man but they need to suffer a lot because after all to all the common man are the person who will be fighting the war like they could be military persons serving the country they could be paramedical doctors they are serving the country and lot uh, lots of common man need to suffer in the war they need to see property losses like we are getting day to day videos where where there was huge uh, huge and beautiful beautiful buildings all over the ukraine and at one sudden moment one missile comes and destroy them all 
same with the vehicles where vehicles is also destroying third point is the resource loss like uh, ukraine is a uh, ukraine is exporter and importer of many things so in future in uh, now also they are they are facing the resource vulnerability like many any country man is not getting think proper food many people were claiming that that they are vegetarian uh, so they need to so is a very very plenty options for them to eat next point comes with the price hikes like basically resources are limited so the available resources are uh, were too much expensive like not everybody could afford them so the price is getting very high in the russia also and the ukraine also and uh, if you focus on the russian country so in nowadays so it is very much downfall for russian currencies many uh, many uh, european countries are just rejecting the trade options with the russia moreover russia is doing the same so this is also so uh, this is also a result of uh, gradually high now the major thing, uh, thing comes with the population of majority and minority like if you talk about ukraine so there are two types of persons who, who is uh, first majority and second one is majority and minority majority is saying that we will fight the war and minority are the people who decided that they will not fight the war but uh, but uh, majority is trying to convince them that you need to fight the war this is our country emotionally mentally so minority is greatly in the uh, in many cases minority is great on the peer pressure if you see the shin ka Uh, condition of Russia. So there are also two separate parties, majority and minority. So there are many were uh, many protesters across the country protesting that that the Russian president had declared this for for his own means and not in the benefit of country. Where where there were major people supporting the president that he has done a good thing and was the good. Thing. Now next thing comes with the future plan minister. Like basically, is any individual is planning uh, uh, in of Russia is planning to future plans for Ukraine or European country. So he need to he or she need to face heavy resistance. As now the majority is against uh, against Russia, so they may need to face many circumstances. Moreover, if any individual of Ukraine has plans for the Russia, so they may also so face same kind of resistance. like uh, like war war create many types of hate in both the parties so this may could go now we will uh, we will see some, uh, we will see a major, very important step at what goes uh, what happens with the own stuff like basically basically the russia is trying so hard to just uh, get the hands of uh, on ukraine and ukraine is trying to defend it but the reality is some part of ukraine ukraine has been captured by russia so the major question that comes with that what happens to them so there are a couple of options which can be done to them first option it could be declared independent parties so they may could be under influence of russia then there are there are many options which can be done so first thing is independence so they may could be declared in separate countries so in future they may could be influence of russia influence of ukraine or you influence of european union first option second options come with a direct capturing so they uh, the both con- uh, the both countries will be the part of of russia so indirectly russia will in- expand it territory third options come with the ukraine will demand them back in that uh, in that case russia if russia agrees with that so basically basically uh, maybe just maybe you uh, so this maybe you pay company will reduce the sanctions in a couple of sanctions from the russia because now russia is giving back land to ukraine so and other possibilities also exist here now uh, now we will see the general laws so there are many community international community who has the who has the created general law uh, so that uh, uh, so that rights of uh, common man could be protected 
Like you have seen the there was main uh, major discussion ka carrying uh, going on that Russia has used a ban uh, banned missile over the Ukraine, so that's not good. And uh, and Russia needs to face sanctions over there. If we focus on general law, so there are various laws which uh, which are meant to protect the rights of individual. Like if the, if the condition goes on war. So basically, other countries are due to general law. So they are meant to provide medical supplies, health equipment, financial aid to any body or any individual or parties who is suffering. Now the last topic which we need to discuss first that identifying enemies. Like you can see, the two parties are fighting with each other: Ukraine and Russia. Both have, uh, both have, uh, both have their separate agendas. But the major uh, the problems come with the neutral people. Uh, like basically, they have a very tourist and very foreign persons who who uh, lives in who lives in or they uh, who lives in uh, Ukraine or Russia. So they may also suffer, and they could be detected as suspicious as they. As now they are neutral, but maybe just maybe they have further plans to be on enemy side, enemy side, and just uh, have separate agendas. So that's why they need to also face suspicions, uh, suspicious, and that might be could be a great reasons. Now overall, trade partners have to suffer same types of threats. So that's why ships, planes, and transport facilities. May also go to various state, uh, various states during the war or uh, even after took the war. So summing up the video. Thank you for watching this video up till here. Like to this video, share to this video as much as you can, and uh, we will meet in next video. Till then, bye bye.